As the Russia-Ukraine crisis unfolds, experts highlight the key role Offutt Air Force Base plays in national security. How critical are their operations? After spending the day finding out, 3 News Now reporter Isabella Basco joins us live to share those answers. As Vanessa Offit is home to two units, Strategic Air Command or STRATCOM and the 55th Air Wing. Strategic Command has the most important mission, which is strategic deterrence. It discourages advers adversaries from launching nuclear attacks. The 55th Air Wing plays a prominent role in intelligence surveillance, helping provide information to senior leaders for potential courses of action. If STRATCOM gets involved and that that typically entails uh, something with respect to our nuclear arsenal, um, then this is a very short interview because we're done. Uh, if the 55th Air Wing gets involved, uh, then that's a lot more likely scenario than STRATCOM. With more than 2 million people on the move from Ukraine, Creighton Law Professor Michael Kelly expects that number to increase if conflict continues. If the U.S. military gets involved in airlifts or humanitarian assistance for all of these refugees, and I don't know that they will, but if they do, then the 55th Air Wing out of Offutt could get involved in that from a command and control perspective. If Russia or Belarus were to attack a neighboring NATO country, that initiates Article 5 of NATO, where an attack on one is an attack on all. That's when STRATCOM gets involved. The reason that Nebraska Offit Strategic Command is involved is because they're watching to make sure that it doesn't need, you know, that they need to react if it goes to that level. Deterring the Russians from using any type of a nuclear capability is job one. And STRATCOM has responsibility for that strategic deterrence mission. So that puts them really in a very prominent role uh, working with the other combatant commands and the Secretary of Defense up through the president. As this crisis plays out, experts warned of the potential implications for our country's men and women. If you look at what essentially are the three superpowers in the world today, that's China, Russia, and the United States. Two of those are authoritarian regimes. Only one is a democracy. So this is very much authoritarianism versus democratic values. And China and Russia have been very successful at weakening the democracy of this third superpower. We're being monitored on the actions that we're doing in this particular conflict, which could then lead into future conflicts, just as we did in the past with Syria, just as we did with Crimea. Admiral Charles Richard, commander in Ch of U.S. Strategic Command, addressed the Senate Armed Services Committee yesterday. And that's where he said in part, I want to assure you that the 150,000 soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, guardians, and civilians of U.S. STRATCOM as always stand ready to execute our strategic deterrence mission. Thanks, Isabella.